Employees in California must be paid for 8 LL hours work. Q, A, yes. You should be paid for the extra hours you work even if they are off the clock. If these extra hours go beyond 8 hours per day, then you are entitled to the overtime rate of 1 and a half times your regular rate. Those who work beyond 12 hours per day are entitled to twice their regular rate. Also, you should be paid an extra hour for any missed meal break, and another extra hour for any missed rest break. If you work in the healthcare industry, you are also likely working on alternative work week schedule, AWS. If so, all work performed in any work day beyond the schedule established by the AWS agreement up to 12 of the day or beyond 40 hours per week shall be paid time and a half. All work performed beyond 12 hours per day shall be paid double time. Also pay double time or hours work beyond 8, 8 hours on those days work outside the regularly scheduled number of work days established by the AWS agreement. The above scenario is not uncommon in the healthcare industry. Consider the following case reported in the news recently. Robert Shaw worked as a traveling nurse for ADMN Healthcare, which is a company that recruits and places nurses at healthcare facilities nationwide. One of its clients is Kaiser Foundation Hospitals in California. Shaw sued ADMN and Kaiser in a class. Action on behalf of himself and other traveling nurses, claiming that they were not paid for all the time they worked before and after their scheduled shift. These include time spent on patient hands-off, charting, and other work-related activities. The nurses also allege that AMM and Kaiser failed to provide adequate meal and rest break periods that were truly off-duty. Nurses were provided copies of policies, instructing them that Kaiser has a strict policy against overtime. Handbook provisions expressly stated that overtime is not authorized. Other policies provided an approval process for overtime that was too burdensome because it required the pre-approval and signatures of two different managers. Nurses testified that they were exhausted after a 12-hour shift and that it was often impossible to track down the manager or charge nurse to authorize overtime. So nurses end up doing off the clock in paid work. Kaiser required its own nurses as well as the traveling nurses to perform the same core duties with respect to patient care. However, Kaiser's overtime policy for its own nurses permits them to work up to two hours of overtime each week without supervisor approval, while travel nurses must have pre-authorization for any overtime. This policy seems to have created a situation where traveling nurses are not paid overtime. California law requires employers to compensate employees for all time they are suffered or permitted to work, whether or not required to do so. Management must make every effort to enforce a rule against uncompensated work, including taking reasonable steps to investigate suspected work that is done without compensation. Employers cannot sit back or simply stand by while employees do uncompensated work. ADMN and Kaiser denied that they violated any law. The court granted approval for the employees to proceed to trial as a class. Rather than continue with litigation, the employers agreed to pay the nurses millions. There are about 8,200 class members. Given the rights accorded by law to employees, efforts should be made by them to keep records documenting their off the clock work to justify any claim for wages. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.